Yeah, first of all, I would like to say that my name is Rory O'Connor. I'm the founder of Empire Boxing. Uh, I started training fighters in approximately around the year 1980. I really started out training professionals. But I found out through the years that dealing with the amateur boxing was more fun. Because, you know, you're shaping and molding kids and getting them moving in the right direction, not just while we're in the gym, but their whole life. What do the Golden Gloves mean to me? The Golden Gloves mean it's time for us to show what all the hard work, and what we're going to put all the hard work and dedication in for over the months and months getting prepared for this. And, and when the Golden Gloves do come, like in a couple of weeks, I bet for my team to kick ass and take names. That's what we're looking for. Yes, sir. Uh, right? We're looking for them to kick ass and take names. Listen, man. A wise man once told me, and I believe that was you, a wise man once told me, if talent don't work hard, hard work will beat talent. So we try to combine both of them. So if a guy got talent, he's got the basic fundamentals, skill, and, and he got condition in the training, that's a combination hard to beat, and that's what we've been doing over here. I'm not bragging, I'm saying we work hard. That's what I'm, that's what I'm looking for. I'm anticipating for them to be kicking ass, man. And showing all the work, hard work they put. I'm looking for results. Now, what you look? What you expect? I'm looking to go farther this year. We 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 won the uh, two, three, four, four three, clubs in a row. Yeah. All that's the national titles. National titles this year. Okay, that's, yeah, that's yeah. definitely a goal. That's, that's what we want. That's definitely a goal. So we got qualified fighters to go there. They didn't went there last year. Yeah. We'll go all the way this year. So we're doing it for the kids. You know, trying to save some. You know, because it's bad out there for the kids. We trying to save the kids. As many as we can. Yes, we are. We're making them try so they can go home instead of going to jail. Yes, sir. A lot of experience in life right here. A lot of experience in life right here, man. We don't just teach boxing. We teach how to live. There it is. You know what I mean, too? Right. They get that from us, too, if they're paying attention. You know what I mean? Right, my name is Rajiv Hernandez. Getting ready for these Golden Gloves, April 2012. Uh, Fighting for quite some time now. Uh, best, best, well, probably I say one of the best parties is, is the pressure and the body shots. Uh, but the gold gloves this year mean a lot, uh, especially with the Olympics coming up. I'm training, working hard. And I, I, I do the sport with a lot of passion. But this, this will be my second. Uh, last gold gloves I fought was uh, 2010. I was, a, I was an April 20, 2011 gold gloves. So in uh, 2010, I made it to the championship, but I lost. So this year, I, I, I want to take the whole thing. Uh, I guess shout out to, to the gym club, Empire. Uh, shout out to Romeo and Donnie, my trainers. They work with me every day. Every, every small thing, big things, everything. They work out, they work it all out. We looking out for me uh, April 6th. My name is Romero Hernandez. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting at 132 Open Division. I'm fighting at uh, Empire Boxing under Romeo, Connor, and Donnie. You know, two, two great trainers. I've been boxing for about maybe about five, six years. On and off. What the Golden Gloves mean to me? It means opportunity, man. Opportunity to be seen and really show the people, show the people in Cleveland what, what we already know in the gym and what I already know that I'm a champion. I just want to say, never give up. If you got a dream, you fight for a dream. Never give up. You get caught in the ring. And, uh, and like me, I feel like I got a lot of people depending on me and counting on me and believing me. I'm not letting anybody down. What keeps me going? I think about I think about my family. I think about my family and things I want to change in my life. Sometimes, you know, of course, I can train, you know, get it in and, and always get a good workout. But sometimes when you think about serious stuff like my family and stuff, it help me push me over over my limit, my physical limit. I think I'm done. But then I think I think about how many people depend on me and how many people count on me and how much like how much I'm fighting for and what I'm fighting for. And also also want to say my, my father he been a, a real great inspiration to me. Because he always motivated me to keep going and, and remind me of staying focused, you know. And he he also somebody I know I know personally firsthand that came up from nothing, you know. Came up came up from nothing and made no excuses. And and he also doing real good for himself right now. I might have came up short in the last year go to glove, but I know this year I'll be champion because I, I might have lost some fights, but I'm keeping moving forward and taking my steps forward, and growing and getting better. If you haven't seen me fight, um, you, come to, you gotta come to the Golden Gloves. If not, you're missing it. A lot of fireworks, man. I bring a lot of action, a lot of excitement. A high tempo fight, I'm leaving everything in the ring. You're gonna see a lot of heart. My name is Jason Bush. 
I'm a two-time Golden Glove champ, going for three. Uh, I'm in the heavyweight division. I'm weighing in about 180-something. I'm a small heavyweight. Uh, I'm 26 years old. Uh, I've been boxing probably for about like a good six years now. It means a lot, and uh, it means a whole lot to me, man. Just to get my name out there. Um, for everybody, for the world to see, to go to the nationals, it, it means a lot to me. They, they can expect a good show, a good show. If you guys don't know me, you will get to know me. Guarantee. I, I don't talk too much. I love the physical content. I love to get out there, have fun, and uh, basically just use my talent, and my skills, and don't get in trouble for it. Shout out just to Empire. Everybody on Empire, we've been doing our thing up here. We've been training hard for everybody else. So you guys, you got a rude awakening coming. Uh, my name is Levi Patterson, a 152, I'm taking over. I started boxing when I was 15. And ever since then, I love the sport. Uh, one day my dad dropped me off, you know what I'm saying, to the gym and uh, talking wrong. And then uh, ever since then, I love the sport. I mean, can't live without it. I love boxing. I just think about my life, man. How I want to be when I get older, man. I'm tired of struggling every day. This year, man, I'm bringing it, man. So whoever, whoever I fight, man, they better, they better, they better bring it, man. I'm coming, I'm coming, 152. Let's go. Ryan Ford, 26, light heavyweight. I've been boxing since 2003. I'm going for my third, third championship this year, third, third in a row. And I feel as though we got the best gym around. We got every weight class, 132, 141, 152, 65, 78, 200, 201. Yeah, it started off like it's just something to do. I started off playing football, like a lot of guys in my school box, so they told me to come down. I gave it a try. Like, I, I loved it from the first day I came, so I just decided to stick with it. It, it means a lot. Like, it's, a, it's, a, it's a launcher pad for bigger things if you want to take your career that way. Like, from the from the regional tournaments to nationals, like you can get spotted by Floyd Mayweather, Vander Holyfield, all type of fighters to see you out there. I've been light heavyweight for the past, well, basically all my like all my all my career, I've been a light heavyweight. I'm getting my, my third championship in a row this year. Nobody's coming in between that. Nobody's competition. I've got the best them around. If you feel different, you can come up here, test it out for yourself. Man, my entire camp: Mike Moore, Julius Lee Grand, Levi Patterson. Miro Hernandez, his brother, Hajib Hernandez, Jason Bush, and I, Dan Danley. And my coach is wrong, and uh, Donnie. My name is DeAndre Hill. I fight at 132 pounds. I'm 24 years old. I've been, I've been fighting in and out of the gym for about four or five years now. Strong bat. I've always liked the hand-to-hand -hand combat. You know, whether it's, you know, playing with friends and, and in the gym, it really just inspired me to try to take it to the next level. Being around these guys, just taking it to the next level. Golden Gloves mean a lot. If you win the Golden Gloves, you got a chance to make it to the Nationals or just to be known as one of Cleveland's top fighters in the area. It's, it's motivation, it's a push every day. Every day, you know, you, you get, you're around guys that are super talented. You have to take yourself to the next level so you can match up even out with those guys. So it's just a motivational motivational situation every day. I'm bringing power to the table. I have natural speed, so I'm bringing power to the table this year. I'm putting something behind those punches this year. So anybody I'm fighting, look out for it. Uh, my name is Terrence West. I've been boxing for a year. I'm 2 and no one TKO. I'm, I fight out uh, light heavy, but in the Golden Gloves, I'm going to 165 not I'm putting in a lot of hard work, getting ready to make sure I'm Monte Green. I've probably been boxing for like two years, a year and a half maybe. But yeah, I, I always wanted to box since I was little because my uh, my guy that he always he started off when I was younger, he started calling me Mike Tyson. He said I look like Mike Tyson when I was little. So I just always I always really wanted to box. Uh, it's basically it's gonna get me out there. It's publicity for me, like you know what I'm saying. It's about I haven't had any fights yet, so he's gonna be, I'm gonna be fighting now. So it's gonna be my first couple fights. Uh, just just. Dedication, just, you know what I'm saying? I just be wanting to get up and just go, go work out. Like, I go up to Garfield Park, I jog two miles around there sometimes. Or I come up here and I'll work out up here, run, jump rope, all that. My name is Zayna Amdam, junior, Cleveland, Ohio, 6'3, going down to heavyweight. I was fighting a super heavyweight for the past about, I'd say about five, six years now. 
started when I was 16, while I was still in high school, on and off playing football, wrestling, track. About the last, say about five years, I'm taking it seriously, acting. Just a one-on-one, -on -one, no excuses. I'm a teammate at heart. But most of all, I like to depend on myself when it comes down to it. Reinventing myself, you know, the best people in the world that ever succeeded found ways to reinvent themselves, make themselves better and stronger. That's what I'm doing. Just rich in tradition in Cleveland, period. I feel like you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. You go to the Nationals, you know, everybody recognizes a guy from Cleveland, you know. If I can make it out of here, I can make it anywhere. I mean, it's, it's so fundamental. I mean, you're only as good as your competition I and mean, your sparring partners. You know, I've been in there with Ray Austin, uh, Ryan, all my, my teammates from Empire. You know, even Southpaw's gym that comes over. And those guys, you know, the elite boxers of boxing in Cleveland. So, I mean, either way it goes, get in there and get it done. Shout out to Empire Boxing. We, hopefully, we'll run a whole tournament this year. That's what our plans are. Everybody training hard, working hard, drop these few pounds in. Heavy way here I come. Well, if you do what he's supposed to do, then he's gonna be the man around here in the heavyweight position.